let's hear what he had to say about getting back in the car. Obviously, had surgery on my on my tibia uh, in, in a couple different places. Um, I have a few screws in in my uh, in the top of my tibia. There, it's really more, I guess, knee located than than it is lower leg. Fortunately, there were no you know no ACL tear or or meniscus or any of that. So that was all very positive. I wouldn't go this weekend if I didn't feel like I could do it. And and ultimately, that's my decision. You know, the the doctors and I have have been in conversations for the whole time and, and I feel like this was the right week to do it. I feel I feel good. And um, you know, the doctors got to a point where they were comfortable with it and they left it up to me to decide when I was ready. You know, we're gonna have what about 17 races or so, 16, 17 races, something like that to get a win. So got plenty of time. Just gotta gotta get after it and and um execute at a high level and I think we're very capable of doing that. NFL, where obviously there are a lot more injuries in the NFL than there are in NASCAR. So I know that a, an athlete is not going to get back into a car or back on a football field unless the doctors have 100% confidence that they can do it and that the driver feels confident about it as well. With that being said, they sometimes do things to just protect that area a little bit more. What, if anything, are you guys doing to protect Chase when he gets in that car, when he's walking around pit road, doing anything that he has to do over the weekend? Yeah, there's not a tremendous amount more that we can do or that we want to do. Chase has, has been in the car. He, he sees what he's got. He knows what's inside there. And I think he feels pretty comfortable with what we've got. We take a lot of precautions inside our race cars as it is. We've got, uh, we've got padding that goes down between the knees in case there's an impact. We've got good leg boards on either side. You know, the, the brake pedal fits his foot the way that he wants it. So all of those things have already kind of been addressed for Chase. So now it's just uh, how much uh, how is his pain tolerance, right? I mean, that's basically it, because there's going to be some aggravation there. For I don't sure. know exactly what it's going right. to be, right? I, I fortunately have not had that happen before. Yeah. So he's, but he feels good. He feels comfortable. And that's, that's what's most important. You know, his doctor said, hey, man, go for it. And he's ready. Being in the simulator, obviously, kind of yeah. mimicking what he's going to do. Does he feel a, a level of pain? Has he expressed that at all? You know, he, discomfort, or even he's been very kind of monotone about it. To be honest mm -hmm. with you, you know, Chase is kind of that way naturally, as you see in yeah. the video. Other than obviously wears his fire suit an awful lot. So, <laughs> but uh, no, yeah, he's he, ready to go. He's, he's ready. Like, he's like, give me he's the like, car. Let's go, folks. <laughs> uh, but but he's been like, hey, I, I feel okay. You know, he knows that it's not going to be the most comfortable thing in the world. I think that's to be expected. But he wants to get out there and start getting prepared to win a race. I mean, the guy knows that he's got a very short runway mm -hmm. to, to win a race so that he can get into the playoffs because he and that team have their sights set on winning the championship this year. Six weeks off out of a race car. I know he's a champ. I know he's a vet. I know he's got the laps, but you're out of the car for six weeks. You're coming back after having an injury at Martinsville. What is that <laughs> like for a driver? Well, like I said earlier, you know, I remember walking out of the track because you can't bring the buses in and all that. And you're walking out, seeing fans and stuff. But I mean, my leg was tired. Like, I was yeah. limping sometimes at Martinsville. So if I'm Chase, I might look at one of those brake pedals like we have at the road courses where you can use two feet, get that right foot over there if you need it, just in case that pain gets up. Uh, I'm sure you guys talked about all that, so you don't need me to say that. But, uh, you know, I think that coming back to Martinsville again is maybe pushing it a little bit. But if you're a race car driver, the next race you want to do is the next one available. And if his doctor said you can do this, then you're going to grit your teeth and yeah. fight about it. Maybe not mention how much pain you're in, but you're going to be out there racing. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's the thing you're going to hear a lot is like there's no further damage that you can do to it. I've heard that so many times with athletes. Listen, this is what it is. Yep. You can't damage it more. You have to tolerate whatever pain you might have, but you can't damage it more. Uh, let's talk about the season because you heard him say that's what's on his mind as well, right? Yep. You know, getting into the playoffs and, and certainly winning a championship. Expectations for this weekend isolated are what with all of the variables that we just mentioned. Uh, I just hope everybody has a, a realistic expectation <laughs> yeah. of what's going to happen this weekend. Uh, if you're asking me right now if Chase can win the race, absolutely. Uh, absolutely they can go and they can they can capitalize on this opportunity uh, with all the energy that's going to be around there and then bring that car into victory lane. Um, but I think that if he doesn't, everybody needs to be realistic about what's, what's going to be happening right. next, right? You know, they just got to... You know, I literally crawl before you can walk yeah. and run, right? Like he's yeah. he is trying to get all that stuff going right now, and it's going to take him a little bit of time. But again, I'm just going to say the facts are he could he could outperform expectations this weekend. Yeah, I mean, I, I expect that nine car to be up front. I know everybody's yeah. expectations may be too high, but mine are that high. I mean, he's yeah. that good. You all are that fast this season. The 24 five car 48. They're all in contention every week, and seeing what 
uh, you guys did with the nine while he was out was impressive. I think when he comes back, he's going to have a fire in that belly ready yeah. to go. I wonder what will be higher, the amount of time he spends in the car this weekend or the amount of media that he has to do <laughs> yeah. this weekend. Media for, sure. media for sure. All right, let's circle back.